Get unlimited access to all of our CPE courses at www.teachucomp.com forward slash unlimited CPE. In this lesson, we will look at some examples of incompetence and disreputable conduct with regard to practice before the Internal Revenue Service. Sanctions may be imposed upon a practitioner who engages in any number of actions or behaviors. The following examples are not a complete list of the offenses for which a practitioner might be sanctioned, but they give a broad idea of the Internal Revenue Service standards with regard to incompetence and disreputable conduct. A practitioner may be sanctioned if he or she is convicted of any criminal offense under the federal tax law, or convicted of any criminal offense involving dishonesty or breach of trust. Practitioners may also be sanctioned for convictions of any felony under federal or state law involving conduct which renders the practitioner unfit to practice before the Internal Revenue Service. A practitioner may be sanctioned for giving false or misleading information to the Department of Treasury or to a tribunal. Such information includes, but is not limited to, federal tax returns, financial statements, affidavits, declarations, or other financial documents. Practitioners may also be sanctioned for failing to make a tax return in violation of federal tax law or for attempting to evade any payment of federal tax debt. A practitioner may be sanctioned for assisting a client in violating any federal tax law or for suggesting to a client an illegal plan to evade payment of federal taxes. Practitioners may also be sanctioned for any misappropriation of client funds. A practitioner may be sanctioned for attempting to influence an officer or employee of the Internal Revenue Service by the use of bribes, threats, false accusations, special inducements, gifts, duress, or coercion. Practitioners may also be sanctioned for knowingly aiding another person to practice before the Internal Revenue Service if the other person is ineligible to practice before the IRS. A practitioner may be sanctioned for contemptuous conduct, including the use of